they're back in there. And whoa, there I am. And there I'm not. And there I am again. There really is. There's a hundred lovable ways you can love a cat. We made it guys. It's snowing more here. It was raining, snow and a mix of that on the way here, but I like the snow better. <laughs> here we are. We are back at the secret pine forest. And we we're going to the same campsite we went to last time. And the temp right now is between 33 and 32. That's what my car said. The low, sadly, is only going to be 27 degrees. I wish it was just going to be a little bit colder than that, but it's not. So, make do with what we got, right? And I brought the Integral Designs Chrysalis Bivy. 
I got the CFP 90, the USGI CFP 90 pack with the patrol pack hooked onto it. I've got the USGI Arctic Canteen cook set. We'll be cooking on that tonight. And I've got a Swiss stove. What else did I bring? Oh, actually I'm wearing here my uh, extreme cold weather Gore-Tex or USGI Gore-Tex uh, woodland camo parka. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and I brought the uh, Sear Designs SFC 40 Winks 20 degree sleeping bag. I believe it's a Special Forces sleeping bag. So if you guys ever seen my Hibernator one, this was kind of like. So uh, now we're just gonna head in the forest and uh, get camp set up. So here we go. Enjoy the show, guys. Hey, did you guys know there's a hundred ways to love a cat? There really is. There's a hundred lovable ways you can love a cat. We made it to camp. And right over here, a guy fell about two weeks ago. Right there. So be careful and watch your step. Guys, I hate to say it, but I don't know if we're gonna get a fire going today. That's why I brought my Swiss stove. So, we're gonna kind of stealth camp, not really, but I think we're gonna go back over here. You know, just a little ways from that. I think that'd be okay. Oh, and guess what? I brought my saw. But you know, the irony of it all is <clears throat> now it's all too wet. So, the saw is not really going to do much for me. <laughs> I can't win! This is what it's like in Illinois. This is what you got to deal with. But I feel sorry for my friends over there in the UK because they get a lot of rain too. Probably way more than we do. So, but like my friend Andy said, you just get out and you do it. And uh, just get it done. Guys, here it is, the CFP90 with the patrol pack attached to it. And right now, I want to get this unzipped. I want to get a little tarp shelter set up and get that undone. Because these zippers are a little stiff. Kind of rain and snow and it's really wet. And right around here, brought cheap old tarp. There we go. And over here. And I got some bank line here. Can get all that set up.
Okay, now I'm out looking for some uh, some poles. I need to find some poles for that tarp. So, all right, guys, you know what time it is? Silky time. Wow, this stuff is dry. We might be able to have a fire. Now we gotta make some pointy edges. Go and take the cold still survivalist. I'm just gonna just make some points. And that's gonna fit through the grommets on the tarp. Oh, that should do. Oh, can you see me? Stick that in there like that. Nothing too fancy. Take the other one. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> Just got it sticking through the grommet and stuck in the ground. It's nothing too fancy, but it's gonna get us out of the rain and snow for a little bit. All right, guys, we are in the <laughs> the tarp for now, and uh, my hair is just soaking wet. Well, check this out. You guys ever seen one of these? This is a U.S. military Arctic canteen. Uh, they don't use these anymore, I don't believe. Maybe they still do, I don't know. But uh, it is from 1982. Uh, actually, I'll bring it up here. I don't know if I can get out here on camera, but see it right there. It says it right there, if you can see it. But it's uh, U.S. Wyatt, or W-Y-O-T-T, -T 82. And uh, it's pretty cool. I actually realized last night that there's a crack in my lid here and the way this lid works is it just it doesn't even screw on just got a cork and it's got a rubber seal on it and uh, on the outside here too so but pretty cool I looked on eBay and I found some uh, conversion kits that will fit this it's got the NBC uh, thing on it for uh, if you have a gas mask for a straw but uh Supposedly it works for these, so I'm gonna try that out. It's gonna be kind of cool. But uh, yeah. Uh, 1982. I cleaned it first, so. <laughs> but I still got a rubbery taste to it. Mmm. I went ahead and brought the pack in because it's just getting wet. My sleeping pad is getting wet. I'm just kind of waiting until the rain and snow kind of stops. But uh, one thing I did notice about this pack, if you can see it right there, is that the metal bar right there, the metal bar that runs the whole length of the for your back support, it was slipping out of here. I had to keep putting it back in, and that was really annoying. So that's one downfall with the CFP90 that I'm already seeing. That's a problem, but it can be fixed, I'm sure. Don't know how yet, but I'll figure out a way. Here's that uh, Arctic Canteen uh, pouch it comes with. It was on my hip, as you saw in the video on our way here. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the I'll show you the cook set that comes with it inside of it when uh, we get dinner going. I went ahead and added some more bank line here too to the uh this little like invasive tree <laughs> another thing i like to do 
after we get camp kind of set up and stuff. So I kind of walk around outside of my camp area and uh, just kind of see if there's anybody else out here. Because I noticed tracks. And those are fresh tracks. That one too. Fresh. Fresh. It's even got stars on it. So I'm assuming it's probably some Converse's or something. Teenage kids out here running around. No, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, right there you see, you can see it right here, all the tracks. And those are fresh. And I was right over there, right over there. So they could have walked by when I was talking to you guys and get camp set up. I would never heard them. So I always do that because you never know. It's something to keep in mind too when you're out camping, especially if you're by yourself. Go ahead and do a perimeter check. Check all around your campsite. Make sure there's no uh, nobody watching you. And uh, yeah, just make sure the coast is clear. Use wisdom, you know? <laughs> There's campsite right there and we're all the way back there can you see the tarp camoed oh there now you can see it but we're not sleeping under the tarp we're gonna sleep in the bivy sack so if anyone walks up on us that's what they'll see first but i won't be there <laughs> I, I put the cloth or the ground sheet under that because if you don't and it rains or snows, all that's gonna go underneath your booty sack. So that's why I do that. And here's the uh, the 40 Winks 20 degree sleeping bag. It's got a, I've got another video on it. I'll put a link up in the screen, but it's got two straps like this on the bottom that hold the sleep pad in, but Well, there it is. It's beautiful. <laughs> What's cool about this is, <laughs> check that out. You got a little, uh, you got your vent there. So I can just, heck, I can just poke that down, zip it all the way up around me, and uh, I'll be good to go. But uh, we're gonna find out tonight how well it works so there it is so here is the arctic canteen cup that it fits underneath the canteen itself and i'll show you when we get dinner going how it sits in there but yeah this is it right here it's pretty cool now let's see it's got yep us w y o t t corp Did you guys see that like guy just like over there 
Like somewhere over there, he was walking and just standing there. He had like this woodland camo parka on with a a white furry snorkel hat. It's creepy. Yeah, I just kind of like pretending I'm in Antarctic right now, or should I say Antarctica? With this big snorkel hood on. That's what they. That's what this is called. It's called a snorkel hood. And. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool because I can pull even farther back. Look at that. It's even farther back in there. And whoa. There I am. And there I'm not. And there I am again. And there I'm not. Oh. Come back. Aha. There I am. I'm gone again. <laughs> I look like a big uh, suction cup in the sea. You know those creatures? That's what I kind of look like. Kind of cool, really. I'll tell you what, it's pretty warm inside here. This hood would be perfect in the Antarctic conditions because that's probably what it's made for. Well, there I go again. Back again. Oh, can't see me. Now you see me. Now you don't. Now you see me. Okay. All right, I'm having fun. Yee!